Welcome back. Today I'm trying out a craft video. So I'm not a crafty person. I can't draw or sew or any of that. But today I'm gonna try out a craft. And this craft, it's a shirt with a boot embroidered on it. So you'll see what it looks like throughout the video. But my supplies, it's one of my boots to get a lining, a needle. I don't know if this is sewing or stitching like I don't know any of this stuff so that a thread or string these are the two patterns we're using and then a white t-shirt and my scissors so this is definitely something that I don't know what I'm doing but we're going to get to work and I've seen a few people do this and I think it turns out super good so hopefully my turns out just as good and that if it does maybe I'll become a craft person and if it doesn't then I'm going to stay not a craft person because I'm not for a reason. So, I'm not, ex okay. I told the lady at the craft store that was cutting this for me that I'm gonna need a lot of help. So if I mess up a lot, I'm gonna need a lot of fabric. So she gave me a good amount. And then I don't really know, we're gonna lay that out. Okay, for this section of the fabric, I need like the upper part of the boot. So I'm gonna try, should I do it on the back side to draw it? Uh-oh. It's windy and it's rainy too, so that's not good. But, wait. I think the boot on the shirt is too big, so I'm gonna have to like, oh boy, minimize it somehow? This isn't, or sh okay, should I just cut it? No, because it's gonna have to be smaller. I decided we're just gonna cut it, so. This has to be cut like this, but like small enough to fit on a shirt. Okay, how should I go about this? We're gonna take it in there. Do you need special scissors? Cause it's not cutting. I'm already regretting my decision to try this because why won't the scissors cut it? There we go. Okay, we're making the turn. Um. Where? Uh oh. Does it go up? I think I made it too narrow. Yay! If this, I really hope this is good. Okay, this might be good. This might be good. I might extend it a little more because then I can always trim it. <gasps> I think it's good. This is like giving me flashbacks to my bench video. I should really start like researching things before I do it instead of just getting an idea and going straight into it. But I don't really like like being told what to do. And often I think that like I can just figure something out. So that's what I do. Okay. This is taking, I've been recording this clip for four and a half minutes and it's all me cutting. Wait, I think it's too small. That's, I don't want to have to recut it all again because it took so long. It took me five minutes to cut that. Okay. Okay, no, that's good, that's good. <gasps> okay, now I feel like doing the toe of the boot is gonna be the hardest. So I'm gonna stop this real quick and think this through on how to do this. Well, this stinks. It's not working right. Well, it's working how it's supposed to, but it's not how I wanted it. But <laughs> it's huge. That is what we're, maybe I'll just cut it and we'll see. I can always cut it like in, you know? There we go, okay. I'm like following the lines I drew, but like a little more in. So it'll be smaller if that makes sense. It's like rotate my body to cut it. Which I'm having a hard time like cutting the fabric. Wait until I have to like stitch it or sew it, whatever it is, with a needle. I heard getting the like thread through the um, needle is the hardest part. So 
I kind of had to do something like that. I used to be an assistant at a hair salon. I don't know if you guys knew that. So whenever the hairstylist would do extensions, I'd have to like thread the needle. And I was, it was so hard. Hold on, I have to cut this extra fabric off. Okay, wait, it's actually not bad. Except why don't they line up? So this is way too big. I don't know if I should extend this, like make a bigger piece or make one of these smaller. I guess I could try both. And then I need a piece of this up here, like that. So I'm gonna try and make this bigger, I think. This is probably gonna be like another five minutes of cutting. Why is it not cut? These are my kitchen scissors, maybe that's why. I even have my glasses on for this. That's how you know I'm serious about making it look good. this see that like okay let's see if this matches it better though okay guys this is it it's like huge but i think it's cute the little thing at the top should be the easiest so i'm gonna do that now i'm not gonna cut my fingers off it may look like that but okay this little guy oh wait i think it's too small Um, I think it needs to be bigger. Or is it fine? I'm gonna show you guys. Maybe I'll, I'm gonna make a bigger one and try that too. Yes. Okay. They're different sizes, I promise. I think I like that better. Okay guys, we finished all the cutting, which I guess I really didn't need as much fabric as I told the lady I would. But it looks good. Okay, the this part is gonna be the hardest and make or break it, but I have hope. I don't know, I actually have no idea how to do that. Like I don't know how to stitch it or unstitch it if I mess up, so we're gonna try it. It's gonna be so hard to get this through. This is it. Do you see how tiny that is? You can't even see it because it's so tiny. And this needs to go through that somehow. Luckily my mom came over right before I started the stitching part because I didn't know. So this is all the thread or string, whatever. I think it's thread. I didn't know you were supposed to like cut it and knot it. So, and she said to start inside the shirt, stick it through and then go out, which I don't even know how to find it. I'm gonna stab my, uh oh, wait, I found it. Wait, should I start there? <gasps> what if this all moves? I don't know. This is gonna be really hard, guys. Why is it everywhere but where I need it to be? We got it. So I'm supposed to pull the whole thing through? Hey, why is it doing that? It's scrunching up the fabric. And it's moving. That's not where it's supposed to be. Okay, guys, <laughs> this is scary. I don't know what I'm doing. Was I supposed to pull all the thread through? gonna take us a while I don't know if they're tight enough to like hold the fabric down my mom told me I should have used fabric glue to like glue it down and then oh no why is that happening and then um there we go okay wait I don't think I needed that much so it would move and then I could stitch it through but I forgot about that until I started. I want this part to overlap it. Okay, I'm just waiting for me to actually like send the needle through my finger on the other side. I know I'm gonna get so many tips and suggestions in my comments, but this will probably be my last project doing something like this. Okay, my needle's somewhere under the shirt right now. Where'd it go? Is that it? Okay, that's the pointy side. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm kind of good at this. I don't want to jinx it, but I, this is so difficult. <laughs> I can't say it enough. This is probably a really boring video for you guys to watch because it's just me like 
sitting here staring at it, trying to figure it out because I'm so focused. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like right now because I'm almost halfway up the half side. Okay, guys, this is what this looks like. See what I mean? Right there, I somehow scrunched. I Maybe I started too close to the edge. But this is really close to that. This isn't centered, so it's definitely not the best. But we're almost halfway to this side, and I think I'm going to do all of this and then do this separately because I don't know how else to do it. But that's how it looks right I'm now. I'm just literally, like, playing this all by ear. Not by ear. By poke, basically. Poke with a needle. It goes where it goes. Oh my goodness, guys. Also, I keep saying this is really difficult, but it's actually, like, not at all. I'm just dramatic, but it's actually really easy. It's just, like, you need patience. That's it. And that's why it's difficult for me is because I don't have patience. But, like... Cutting the fabric was easy. Getting all the supplies was easy. Threading it through is like actually easy too. It's literally all just patience, which I like, that's why this is hard for me is cause I'm such a like, I want things to do quick, but it's turning out really good. I'm just scared that whenever I wear it and I wash it, then this is all gonna be ruined because one time me and my friend got little like patches to like iron on to sweatshirts and we made like three each. They looked super cute. They were so cute and like, it was like, it wasn't expensive, but like with the patches and everything, and then like we had to get iron on paper, but again, we didn't watch like any tutorials or anything. We were just like, okay, we need patches, a shirt, and iron on paper. But then like we realized we were doing it wrong. So it was this whole thing, but then we didn't iron it on correctly and we didn't like wash it correctly. So then when we washed it, all the patches came off. And I was like, I can still like re-iron them on correctly, but instead I didn't. So now I just have like a sweatshirt with like, it had like four patches on it. Now it has like one like hanging half off. So I should really start reading directions and doing things correctly. But also I'm really upset that this isn't properly centered. I just hope it looks good. I hope people don't pay that much attention to it. Okay, so I finished stitching it up, but now I'm gonna stitch it down. So I think I'm gonna have to rotate the shirt so I can do that correctly. I'm at the part of the boot where the body's going into the toe of the boot again, so I need to make sure they line up well enough. This is big. Okay. Hopefully they stay together well. The loss <laughs> the needle. Oh, it's right here, but it came out again. I've had to re-thread this so many times because I keep like forgetting to pay attention to it and then it like falls out. But I've gotten better at it. Did you see how quick that was? I'm upset that I'm gonna have to go across there because I don't know how to do that. And also when I try and like pull more thread through, this all scrunches up like the fabric. So I also don't know how to fix that. Um, this is really hard. I think I was supposed to pull all the thread through in the beginning and not like part of it. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do when I get to the end of it. I also don't know if I'm gonna have enough thread to get the, to the end because I can't pull it through. Okay guys, I'm unstitching a few because the one from the body of the boot to the toe I made way too big because I just wanted them to connect. So I think I'm gonna do two small ones because it's like really loose. Now I'm gonna re-thread this and try and make a smaller stitch. Score. Okay, we're gonna make this one tiny. I really should have used fabric glue or like pinned it. That's just future. I want to give up. I won't because that's lame. But I'm the type of person that like will st like if I start something and then don't like finish it. Like if I were to be like, oh, I'll finish it tomorrow, I won't. So. I need to start things and finish them like the same day because then I just won't do it. Okay, I take back, there's Hunter. I take back just a few minutes ago when I said it's that I'm just dramatic and it's not hard because for some reason I've been on the same exact section for like 20 minutes now and it's still not working. Like, I don't know what's happening. So I'm re-threading the needle again because it came out again. And I think I jinxed it by saying I'm getting good at it because now I can't get it.
Oh boy. This is really the like make or break point of it. And I think it's breaking. So this is why I don't do crafts. I'm confused. And my phone's about to die, so I might have to take a break. Hopefully I finish this because wait, I just need well, now I can't pick it up off the ground. <laughs> okay, I got it. I need to, I'm so close to being done. I'm on the bottom of the boot. Like, the very, like, the bottom of the boot. There's so much string under this shirt. I don't even know how. Like, where is it coming from? I'm confused because I need it. So close. So close, but, like, I don't think it's enough. Please. I'm like, if my, my phone's probably gonna die right like as I'm finishing it too, so. Um, let me pull this one through. And then I'm gonna take a break for my phone to charge and for my sanity. Okay guys, my break is concluded. My phone is no longer on 2%, it's on 20% now. And I'm starting to get stressed because I'm so close to being done, but I'm also so close to like, this not working out. <laughs> So we're almost done. It's not, oh my gosh, there's a bug. Ew. But it's not looking exactly how I wanted it to, but it is looking a lot better than I thought it would. It's like 8 p.m. I think. And I don't even know when I started this. I think I started at like six. I think I actually might have enough thread, but why does it look like that? And I am gonna have to go over this section with stitching. I don't know how to do that though. I don't know how to do any of this. I've probably said that this is so hard and that I don't know what I'm doing like an annoying amount of times in this video. But I just have to like remind you guys just in case you're watching me and you're like, what is she doing? I don't know. So we're on this journey together and I highly suggest all of you, are those crickets? Why are they so loud? I don't know what they are, but they're really loud. Anyways, I highly suggest all of you to go try this craft out. So first you can know my struggle and because I'm basically giving you a tutorial. Ugh. What the heck? I'm basically giving you a tutorial and it looks super cute. But if you guys don't want to do it yourself, I'll make you a shirt for a thousand bucks. Kidding, not actually a thousand, but I don't understand how people like make and sell things like this because like I would love to but I'd be needing a lot of money to do this more than once but hey maybe if I do it multiple times then I'll get better but I've also had to re-thread this multiple times and I haven't gotten better got it I'm so close to being done wait what am I doing that okay I'm so excited! Well, I'm actually not close to being done because then I have to do the little thing at the top and I have to do a cross, like the stitching across. Why did it do that? Don't do that. But I'm either never gonna wear this shirt or I'm never gonna wash it. <laughs> One or the other because I really don't want it to be messed up when I wash it. So. Maybe I'll wait till this video does publish, so then you guys can give me advice on that if anyone knows. Okay, so I made it to the end. But now what do I do? Like I'm back to where I started, but I don't really know what to do. Do I just like cut it? Cause this could literally like make or break the whole thing if I mess this up. I might have to call my mom, give me a sec. Okay, when I told you guys I couldn't pull the thread through, it was because it was like knotted into the stitching. But see, I have it like flipped inside out right now. I need to cut this, but randomly in it, it has like this hanging through. So I don't really know how to fix that. I'm gonna have to like, I don't know. this one. Okay. 
think I got that. So now I'm just like pulling all this extra thread through that I thought I was gonna run out of, but it was just caught up somewhere. I don't really know how to fix this now because I already knotted the last part, so I might have to fix that. So I just had to pull this through the rest of the boot. If you guys attempt this, hopefully you watch the whole video first instead of like doing it while I'm doing it because I'm learning a lot on the way. So don't do what I'm doing or else you'll be doing this. Why is this so difficult? I was right the whole time, it is difficult. I take back saying it wasn't. I was, I was doing good for like five seconds and now I all of a sudden was like, oh, it's actually not hard, I'm just dramatic. I'm not dramatic, apparently it is hard. I think I fixed it all. It definitely looks rough, but I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna knot under here and then I have to do the stitching for the little thing at the top and then across from the body of the boot to the toe with the different fabrics. I'm knotting this a lot because I'm nervous. Now I'm gonna cut it. There we go. Okay, let me show you what it looks like right now and then I'll explain what I have to do next. There's so much of the like, I'll show you. Okay guys, this is it right now. This is what I mean. This part looks pretty bad, but I'm gonna stitch across here and then I'm gonna do this up here, but all these little things are coming out, so. Okay, I finished stitching across it. I'm tying the knots for that. There's a rodeo in our area in a few weeks, so maybe I'll wear this then because I wanted to wear it for the 4th of July, but I didn't make it in time. I was on vacation with my friend's family the like week before the 4th, and then I went to that same friend's, like, their lake house for the 4th. And um, I only had, like, two days in between them. So I had other things to do than this craft. Luckily, I didn't do it because I thought it would take, like, an hour. And I was considering doing it then. But good thing I didn't because this is taking me much longer than an hour. Okay, it's knotted underneath. Yay! It looks kind of rough. Kind of is an understatement, but what is that? Oh, the shirt's scrunched up. Last part is this thing. That shouldn't take long at all, but it could. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, I need to thread this again. That's enough, I think, yeah. And then do that. Parts, like the small piece is actually really hard because since it's so small, it just like moves nonstop. But I flipped the shirt upside down to do it again. I can't. Every time I think I'm poking the needle somewhere, it's going somewhere completely different. I wanna show you guys my new shoes. And I was explaining how I am obsessed with Converse, like always, like I have so many pairs. And they're like a good price. They're like $70 for a pair of shoes when now shoes are like 150 for a pair like that's crazy but i like the high top converse so i have like two color like two pinks two greens a brown a blue a white like i have colors to match every single outfit possible and i have like the platform or like the normal but i've been really liking new bounces lately so i got my first um two pairs the other day and I love them. And now I want like every color. So I'm gonna add those to my Christmas list because it's August. That means September, October, November. Four months till Christmas. Hold on guys, I'm almost done with my little square thing and then I'll show you my new shoes. Should I just wait now? What the heck? I almost poked my finger off. Yes, okay. This is great. Wait a sec. What's all this? Hold on guys. For some reason, every time I look under the shirt, there's like all these strings and I don't even know how they got there. But I just knot them and then I cut them. Look at them, they're pink and they're new bounces and they're platform and they're so comfortable and they're so cute. So now I need them in every color. Guys, I think I'm done. 
If it looks bad, don't tell me that. Say it looks good. It's so cute. It looks kind of like a pointed toe, but isn't that so cute? I'm gonna go try it on. Guys, look at it. Look how cute. It definitely has its flaws, but for like not knowing what I'm doing at all, it's so cute. And basically, I'm a craft pro now. I learned that. Um, I think everyone should try this. And if you guys want one, I'll sell you this one for $1,000 because it's perfect. It has its flaws. It's like my bench that's actually sitting right over there. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. Another video where I had an idea of trying something and didn't know what I was doing, just went into it. But they both turned out pretty decent, my bench and this shirt. But I actually think this is super cute. It is a little far over. I wish it was kind of more there. But I think you should all try it. If you guys want one, $1,000, I'll make you one. That's a joke, maybe. But it's so cute. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too painful to watch me try and learn. But I think it turned out super cute. I love it. I think you should all try and make it. So thanks for watching. Leave a like, share with a friend, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.